I know we still gotta go snorkeling still, but this is this is ranking up in the top things we've ever done. Yes! I, I have nothing more to say than I, that. Yeah, I can't. Yeah. And there's nothing better. I know. But just for the fact that it's so remote. Yeah. And yes. And how about the fact our National Park Pass saved us $45 today? How about that? Otherwise, we had to have $15 per person in cash yeah. to come here. Yeah. Welcome to the fort. <laughs> over there just sitting on his Hobie cat, just uh, reflecting, about, reflecting the day. about the day. Right in the middle. Whoa! I didn't realize that was going to happen. Maybe we... Oh, oh my gosh! Happy birthday, Hi. Caleb! Thank you. <laughs> oh, baby! How'd it go? Oh, so good! Yeah? I am. I'm so excited. We're about to go to the Key West International Airport and get on a seaplane so that we can fly over to the Dry Tortugas. They're going to give us a little aerial tour. Then they're literally going to land on the water and drop us off so we can tour the fort and then snorkel and then hop back on the plane and come back. The cool part about this is it's going to be pretty short in comparison to using the boat to get over there so that we can be back for Charlie. Yeah, what part of Arizona are you from? A little town called Winslow. Oh, yeah. Sure. Heavier than it looks. All right. I need, is this a bog bag? Yeah. I need one. River run through the tree. Park the path that you see. Where do your water I got that, Caleb. I Love run through my life. Tweet 
there. Like I said, that'd be the beach that I go to today. Um, but if you want to go check out North Beach, you can walk along this side of the fort and put you on a small beach on the north side. I like to tour the fort first, get hot, sticky, sweaty, and then go swim. <laughs> if that's your uh, plan, you can just stash your stuff at any one of these picnic tables right here. Grab a bottle of water, go tour the fort. Come back out, grab your stuff, and then head to the beach. Awesome. Okay, that was phenomenal. That was so exciting. I saw dolphins, tarpon, turtles, sharks. sharks. Oh my. <laughs> it was fantastic. And P.S. We were on the two o'clock flight, and I guess this is the last uh, boat that's going out. So 175 people are leaving the island, and there's just two planes full of people. So if you book a little bit later. That might be yeah. what you get as we well. We did it later because they're picking up at five and we thought we would get a little, just a little tiny bit of the good lighting. A little lighting. less sun. A little less sun. Just a little less. But I'll tell you what, I mean, if this was only a plane flight, I'd be good, to right? Totally. The fact that there's more is like bonus. We get to go to the most remote national park. It only became a national park in 1992, which is kind of cool in and of itself. I think the story of why they even made the fort in and of itself was really interesting. It was a really interesting story. I love when history comes to life through our travels. Yeah. Because it makes it so much better than just like, this was the president and this is what happened. Yeah. And this is when he died. Yeah. eight um, rangers here. Really? They live here. Oh wow. And they take care of the place. They're yeah. extremely busy while they're here full time. It looks like a lot of upkeep. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> they get groceries once a week by boat and then once in a while they'll bring them in pizzas on the plane. Mm. Isn't that fun? I bet pizza day's a good day. Yeah. yeah. Hey, you know what? That's actually kind of cool. Incorporating the small, the private day in paradise you could come here and um, do the all-day tour this is the half-day tour yeah but we were discussing that the half-day tour is plenty of time yeah so take a little walk around the fort sit in the sand go and see some fish done if you were traveling with a family I don't think there's anything wrong with the boat I'm sure the boat rides pretty good oh, I'm sure the boat rides great the plane the plane is exceptional yes that's it yeah definitely a next level experience yeah that could that could like you know if you go on a vacation sometimes you'll save up and do one yeah. really special thing yeah that would be one of those kinds of things yeah i agree in my mind yeah Oh, really? Yeah, I've got your fins. Okay. And all this stuff. And okay. Caleb's working on his stuff. You just go get your camera bag. All right, sounds good. Okay. See you in a bit.
Hi. You know what today is? What's today? Caleb's birthday. birthday. <laughs> Yay. Oh. And for Caleb's birthday, we are going to go in town, have a little brunch, a little birthday brunch, and then we're going to uh, go rent a, what's it called? A Hobie Cat. A Hobie Cat. Mm. And it's going to be for two of you guys. So you guys no, can get like a smaller three. one? No, three. you're no. coming. Every time you have been on a Hobie Cat, you have tipped it. Wow. Oh, because you went there. No. Wow. Oh. by the hour. She put her peg leg on the piano and I said Yeah. Yeah, we're fairly experienced. Okay. Right on. Thanks. Thanks for the call. I'm back. <laughs> All right. Well, we're going to be pretty windy, so you know, um, he says, you know, as long as you're pretty experienced and so <laughs> Look at this footage and tell me if we're not experienced. <laughs> But you guys have fun. All right. It's nice and slow. He's, yeah. he's threading in the ribbon into the mask. Yeah, in the ribbon. It's pretty windy outside, right? Yes. So here's how the conversation went. He says, so you guys are like, you know, you're experienced, right? I'm like, oh, yeah, yeah. He goes, okay, because like I got every guy I got out there renting sea dues So if anything happens to you, like, it, it's all on you. I'm like, we're all about the self-rescue, man. He says, it's all I need to know. <laughs> and this is why I'm sitting on a lounge chair <laughs> instead of on your Hobie. Is going on here? I don't know. He wanted to go by himself. What's Caleb want to do on his 16th birthday? Go sailing. Okay. I think he wanted to be out there on his own. He wanted to feel the independence and the freedom of a man and his Hobie cat. <laughs> I guess if he could drive a car. Hey, do you have any idea what time we, we started? I think we started around 2.15. Oh, that's 3, 3.20. Yeah. Okay. Okay. I'll go ask him. Don't fall over. Yeah, we got a buoy out there. <laughs> oh my gosh. Is there like a waiver you had to sign? I think I, I use your credit card. <laughs> well, should I go back? But I was like, that's part of the plan of flipping it. So should I go forward? But that's part of the plan of flipping it. And there was a cloud. There was a cloud right there. So it was dark. And oh, and then when I left. A 
amazing. Here, why not, should I taste it? Should I do a little taste? I think you should taste this. It's your 16th birthday. You should try a Cuban coffee. A Cuban coffee? Yeah. It's pretty much sugar. It's pretty much sugar. It is so good. So today's Charlie's day. We have kind of left him in the rig for the past two days. So we found out there is a dog beach in Key West. Dog we're beach. gonna bring him to that. We're gonna bring him to the farmer's market. We're gonna walk around. He's probably at some point gonna completely reject this idea and just sit down. Mm -hmm. And stop walking. And stop Because that's what he does. When he's done, he's done. When he's done, he's Chase done. Chase some seagulls. And usually that's like a very small window. <laughs> so. Even though there seems to be no wind whatsoever. This is a reminder to everybody to pull your awning in before you leave, no matter what, always. I can't tell you how many broken awnings we see and it's so easy to not to forget about it when really there isn't a lot of wind, but there's nothing worse than like an hour later when you see the gust and then you realize that you didn't pull the awning in and then you come back to find out that it's all bent up, so just a KYD PSA, let's go. How fun is that? Thank you. Mm, the whole bundle. That's one big carrot right there. That's amazing. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> Thank you, guys. <laughs> one, two. Three. That's enough. Man, that Coast Guard ship is so cool. You didn't though? Yeah. I, I, do you think it's still like, is it yeah. functioning? Yeah, sure. You think those cannons still work? No. Well, come to think of it it, it, it looks like it needs a little love. But it's probably, yeah, it looks like it's, people are coming off it. Maybe you could tour it. You want to go see? Yeah, let's go check it out. got a text message that you purchased from Cheese Lovers, so I turned around and saw you. Oh, I did, I got it. <laughs> I got two gorgeous cheeses. Let me see. Yes, a cheddar with balsamic and then a uh, brie from France. Here's the cheddar. Okay, thank you. Yes. And um, what else you get? How did you get all that produce in that Trader Joe's bag? Let me tell you something. This is one of the best we've visited in a long time. Farmers, Farmers Markets? Market. It's not extensive, but the things here are amazing. Mm. There's dates over there from Jordan. That cheese is delicious. Isn't that cheese amazing? Mm -hmm. Oh my gosh. That's amazing, super yummy. Right? So you could have it like on bread or on tomatoes. So That's how it. much is that or that? These are, okay, so these are 12, these are 20. This is like almost double the size. We'll, we'll get, do that. to continue our trip. We have passed the southernmost point of Key West. Seems like something you have to at least drive by. There's also mile zero right up the street, but everything is so close and compact. You can really cover a lot of ground here. Turn left on Blue Street, then turn right on Whitehead Street. Your destination is on the left. So Truman's place is up here? Louis Backyard. Louis Backyard is our next destination. It's right on the beach, and I guess the dogs can run into the water and the people can have cold drinks. And it was on this day that Charlie finally understood why Key West is amazing. <laughs> okay, so I don't know all the details, but at some point a historical house got torn down and people were upset. So, the 
the Historical Society was created. And um, now what they do to earn money to help the upkeep of these historical houses is four times a year they do these tours. And they're all different houses every single time there's a tour. So if you wanted to go all four times, you would never see the same house. So we're gonna head over to the museum. They're gonna give us our layout. And then you walk around the town and people graciously open up their home and show you what they've done to it. How fun. Oh, so it is people's homes. Yes. Oh, cool. Yeah. Here's one for you. And you're all free here. He said this is the oldest outhouse in all of Key West. Really? Well, I could, I could uh, freshen it up, make, make it uh, new. Well, that's what I told him. He said, he said it hasn't been used in a while. And I said, well, you know, we could change that. And he said, if you make a special donation, we could probably arrange something. And I'm thinking a special donation is exactly what I was talking about, if you know what I mean. I think I, I think I'm picking up what you're putting down, <laughs> or uh, <laughs> quite literally. <laughs> available for 3.7. It has a very movie star glam, sparkly quality to it. Mm -hmm. I like it. My favorite part though were the tree swings <laughs> in the front. <laughs> hey, Loved that. You can get those for a lot less. A lot less. So let's make that happen. So that bell right there? Yeah. They used it to summon that there was a fire, but they also used it at 9 p.m. to let anybody under 16 years old know it was time to go home. There was a curfew. So they would ring it and then all the kids would go home. But what was interesting about that bell is it was actually in the center of town yes. to let the fire, well, to let the town know that there was a fire somewhere. Mm -hmm. And then this station was actually built in, what did he say, 1907? Yep. And it was horse carriage. Yes. Isn't that crazy? And it's just kind of interesting as you're in the museum and you can see the evolution of fire technology. It's yes. pretty cool. And neat. they had coal, so they would make these super hot coals and put them in the engine mm -hmm. and it would pressurize the water so that it would shoot out. And then the other thing that the gentleman told us is that you could always tell a fire station had a steam engine because of the arch on the oh, doors. Oh, that's so cool. I didn't hear that part. Yeah. What, did your offer not go through on the house? You're just sitting out here on the side of the, I'm side of the street? I'm not leaving. They're gonna have to kick me out. Yeah? Yeah. You know, um, squatting works better when you squat inside the property, not just oh. outside of the back gate. But let's talk about that house. Okay, that was fantastic. That was the great. The date pine on the walls, it oh, was yeah. so cool. Now that one was for sale for 3.2. That was 3.2, first one was 3.7. Yes. I would take this one all day long. Yeah. Yes. Well, this was charming. It almost reminded me of like a Lake Tahoe lakefront. Yes. Right with all With the wood inside that and That bar outside and the way they did the add-on, it looks like they paid homage to the original house. Yeah. You could still feel that it was like tight, it like compression almost, because the spaces were so small. Sure. And I the liked guest that. house. And the, the guest casita. house was hilarious. And the backyard. I think the guest house though is like, if you don't like them that much, because there's no <laughs> air conditioning. <laughs> <laughs> Otherwise, you get the bedroom upstairs. A couple things about this. Tell me. Obviously, we're not realtors trying to sell homes, but if someone's watching and they're thinking, hey, I like this place, we'll at least include a link to the agent's website. Well, and then can I come stay? <laughs> yes. I think that's got to be part of the deal. Come on. Okay, so never mind. We are selling houses. All right. Um, <laughs> No. Typically, I there's... Just, I'm looking for a guest space. Okay. okay. Well, <laughs> you saw the guest space. <laughs> bring, Upstairs. Bring a fan. Okay. <laughs> there are four houses on this tour. Typically, there are five. Oh. In a non-COVID year, there'd be about 600 people on the tour. This year, they limited it to about 180. Typically, Six. the homes are not for sale. Unless oh. it just happened to be for sale because it's a super interesting house. Most of the time, they are people's residents. Oh. This year, what they've done is they've done interesting homes that are for sale so that people 
are not just going through everybody's home this year. That's the deal. Right, and most of the people have left the home. Yeah, they're the, in vacant. In these two... They're yes. vacant and staged, probably staged. It looks very much like the furniture that it was there, but who knows? Anyhow, it was fun. It was good. It was, it it was, was good. a good walk. I'm sure on a non-COVID year, it's even better. Not to say this wasn't, because it was great, but I'm sure it's even better because they're hand-picking special homes, and they have all of the homes to choose from, not just the ones for sale. Yes. But it was it was good, so good job. Well, oh, well, thanks. I. <laughs> These guys are kind of tired. They're ready for a drink. Um, it's, it, was a, it was a lot of walking, but it you're going to want to maybe, maybe consider doing the later of the two mm -hmm. time options because then you're walking around from three to five instead of one to three. But they only do this four times a year. So where do people go to find out more about this? Um, we can put that link down there too. All right. Well, you got all the information down. Can I say something as well? Yeah. Yes. Mom wanted to bring the bikes. Now looking back on it, would that would have been a good idea. Parking. A riding, a riding stand? Could yeah. be even better. Yeah.